Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to implement simple captcha. Even you can convert text into Arabic or Chinese. Watch till the end you will come to know everything. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on repositories. If you watched our old CAPTCHA related videos like reCAPTCHA or using Cage Library then same sample application I am going to use to implement simple CAPTCHA as well. So let's open Spring Boot sample link. Let's download this. Unzip this file. Import this as a Maven project in Spring Source. Click on finish. Imported successfully. Let's run this project and just to make sure everything is working fine or not. Server started. For time save I already added bookmarks. So click on the second one. See it's working. So this application concept is very simple. You can save data and it will show the list or directly you can click on the employee list. Let's add one. See it's showing because we are not saving in the database we are just adding in the list so every time if we restart the server data will be lost. So before save I want to add simple CAPTCHA so if CAPTCHA code is correct then only allow to save. If not then don't save and show a relevant message. Stop the server. Let's see how to implement simple CAPTCHA with this application. First, let's create one package for CAPTCHA. Click on finish. Now let's create some classes. Create a class called CAPTCHA generator. Add interface initializing the bean. Click on finish. Create a class called CAPTCHA details. Add interface serializable. Click on finish. Generate serial version ID. Create one more class called CAPTCHA utils and this called should be abstract. Click on finish. For your kind of information to implement simple CAPTCHA so we need additional dependency so dependencies are available but not working. So I am going to add JOR files for simple CAPTCHA. I already downloaded and kept inside lib folder. Here it is. As you can see two JAR files one for simple CAPTCHA and other for simple CAPTCHA source. Let's add this lib folder in this project. Add both the JOR files to build path. It's done. Now start code for simple CAPTCHA. Create some private variable which will help to create CAPTCHA. Wait and watch. Seriously it's very simple. The name itself is explaining everything, so now create an object for all the variable which we created inside after properties set, add a simple condition like if it is null then create an object for variable. For background producer create an object of transparent background producer class there are other classes also which we will see at the end for text. producer create an object of default text producer class for word renderer create an object of default word renderer class for noise producer create an object of curved line noise producer I hope you are understanding why I am doing all this now create a method for generating captcha and this method accepts two parameters one for width and other for height it will return CAPTCHA class object. Return CAPTCHA object and will build CAPTCHA based on above class objects. See it's very simple so with the help of this method we will get CAPTCHA which is transparent. Default text. A word with a curved line is noise. That's it for this class. Now add some code in CAPTCHA details. Create two private variable one for an answer and other for CAPTCHA. 
create a getter for both. Create Captcha Details Constructor with one parameter HTTP servlet request. Get parameter from the request and assign it to answer. Get session attribute from WebUtils and assign it to Captcha. That's it for this class. Now let's add some code in CAPTCHA utils. Create one method called encode base64 and it accepts one parameter called CAPTCHA. So this method we generate a PNG image. That's it for this class. Captcha related code is done. Open application class. Create a bean for a Captcha generator class. That's it for this class. Open employee controller class. Create a variable for Captcha generator and annotate with auto wired. Add some code in add method so it can return Captcha as well. Using Captcha generator call create Captcha method with width 200 and height 50. As you know it returns Captcha object. Add HTTP session also in the method parameter. For HTTP session set attribute for caption answer so later can read it. Add one model attribute for captcha encode and as you knew under captcha utils we created one method for encode base64. So let's use the same. That's it for this class. Later we will add some more code. The open add JSP page. Add some code for captcha and text box for entering that captcha. Add an image tag to render CAPTCHA. See this code is required inside SRC. Add a text box to enter the CAPTCHA. Change path and placeholder to CAPTCHA. Add glyphicon icon like a key for the CAPTCHA text box. Let's add one variable for CAPTCHA in the employee class. That's it. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. CAPTCHA is coming. The glyphicon icon is not coming. So remove the code glyphicon icon related. See now glyphicon icon removed. Now let's add code to validate CAPTCHA and save method. Add HTTP servlet request as a method parameter. Add required changes as we did earlier. So it's very simple just compare session value with employee object CAPTCHA value. That's it. See it's very simple. If it matches then redirect to list otherwise redirect to the same page. Let's check now.
let's enter a wrong value and click on save. See it's redirecting to the same page. Now add right value and click on save. See it's working. Now let's add some message if we enter the wrong captcha, so we already did previously so, I am going to use the same. Let's open that repository. See here it is. Now let's copy message related code. Along with that need to add some changes and add JSP also. That's it, let's check again and see the message is coming or not. See it's coming. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you understood how simple CAPTCHA works, let's change it to stylish, let's do some research. So open the simple CAPTCHA JOR file, like for background producer, there is a package called background, so instead of a transparent class object. Let's use flat color background class object. Let's check. See now gray color is coming this is the default, you can customize color which you want. Try some other background like the gradient background. See now background coming in gradient, you can change if you want. Now try squiggles background. See the background is more stylish, these are classes provide for background, you can use some image background also for that you need to explore. Now try some other text producer so for that open text producer package, you can see 5 types of class available, so instead of default text producer let's use Arabic text producer. See now CAPTCHA is coming in Arabic. Now let's try Chinese text producer. See now CAPTCHA is coming in Chinese, now let's try number answer producer. See now number CAPTCHA is coming, so like this if you deep dive each and every class you will many things which you can change. Now try some other word renderer, open respective package. So instead of default let's use colored edges. See color changed so like this you can choose color or font. Now try some other noise producer, so instead of a curved line, let's use straight line. See now straight red line is coming, I hope you understood what I am trying to explain, so like this you can explore this dependency and if you want to see code then open another dependency. I committed the code also. Which you can find under Spring Boot Simple CAPTCHA repository. See here it is.
Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.